everybody, it's Doug here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our next October Halloween style playthrough. In this one, we're going to be playing a new game that's definitely horror themed for sure, which is Universal Studios Monsters Horrified, which has been lauded as a really good game. This will be my first game of it. I've had it sitting out for just a little bit because I was doing some other stuff and I haven't gotten to the table with other people yet because with my family, I'm paying, playing Machi Koro Legacy right now, so we're kind of embroiled in that and I got this here on the table now what do you do in horrified well you are one of a couple of people you're, you're a character trying to defeat the movie monsters of the um, Universal Studios monsters monsterverse so the werewolf the creature from the Black Lagoon Dracula uh, the mummy um, Frankenstein and the Bride and the Invisible Man. Those are the creatures that come in this game. Now, they could expand on that later, I suppose. But we're going to do a number of things. And that we have, and each of the monsters has a different way that you have to defeat it. And uh, it's a uh, it's rather streamlined game, really good in that regards. And uh, we're going to get to it. So, I'm going to be playing a two-player game because I think I didn't want to play solo because there's some different rules and uh, I don't want to play with different rules. And we're going to be playing against the monsters that they tell us to play for the uh, an introductory game which is Dracula and the creature from the Black Lagoon. So we're going to take a look at those but as you can see we got a pretty vibrant board and a lot going on. You notice there's all these tokens on the board. Well we're supposed to place 12 out right away and those are things that we have to gather and use to uh, help defeat uh, the, the creatures. Right. So you can see also there's a bunch of these coffins out. These are Dracula's coffins. We need six points. So you get it? Two, two, six points of red things. So there's a good bundle right here to destroy a coffin. And if we destroy them all, then we can then attack uh, Dracula. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? And beat him. Now that's his conditions, but the creature is very different. The creature's board has a boat on it, and we have to tra traverse the riverways and discover where the creature's lair is before we can take him down. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're going to have to do. And uh, we're going to have two characters on this adventure. And I'm going to explain them real quick. Here you have the explorer. You can see that she starts in the camp. And that's where we're going to be. And she has a special action. It says place your hero in any non-water space. It's a pretty good special action. And then she has three actions. So she can get around the board pretty darn well. Um, and uh, basically that's that's all the characters do. They have, this, uh, they have that. And then of course they have a standee. It looks like so. And she, again, started on the camp, which is good because that's an area that we have to use to defeat the creature from the Black Lagoon. And then secondly, we have the Professor. I just randomly dealt him to myself. I don't know if one's better than the other, but he does have four actions, and he can move any hero or villager one space as a special action. It costs him an action to do that, but that's still pretty cool. And he started at the hospital. And what do they mean by villagers? Well, during the game, a bunch of villagers have come out, and I noticed there are characters from, like, uh, old um, Universal movies, like this one, The Dungeon, which is Wilbur and Chick, or Abbott and Costello, if you know your old, old movies. So they might come out on the board, and we have to get them to safety, and if we fail, then our terror track starts to go up, which is one of our lose conditions. If we ever get to seven on that there track, then we have lost the game. The other way we lose the game is by running out of cards in the monster deck. So those are the, simply the two lose conditions, and we can die as much as we want. It just costs us uh, stuff and things to do that, and uh, uh, you know we just end up going back to our starting space and, and losing things. So it's not really... Uh, it's not as terrible. We don't want to die, obviously. I think the terror track goes up too. I have to look at that. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, that is what we're going to do. Now let's take a look at our monsters because that is the meat and potatoes of the game. Here we have Dracula, and you can see Dracula is seeking, to, uh, seeking blood. Destroy his four coffins so you can subdue him, and that's what we're going to try to do. He has an ability, so we're going to roll some dice when he attacks. If he rolls one of these, then it activates his ability. Dark Charm place the current player's hero in Dracula space so he charms people to come to him. Now you can see this number here that is the frenzy marker so he is lowest so he's going to be the guy frenzying first I believe I'll double check that too just to be sure but I believe that's the case and you can see in a space with a coffin use six red icons and place the smash coffin on the matching corresponding spot that's what you have to do advance and then defeat overcome Dracula if in Dracula space, use three, uh, six value to defeat him. Pretty cool, right? So that's all you have to do to defeat him. Now, 
he's going to move around the board. Remember, we got four coffins we have to move around and smash with those items, and that's how we're going to get him. Now, the creature from the Black Lagoon, very, very different guy. Uh, you can see the creature strikes from the depths. Locate his water retreat so you can oust him. Got to find his hidden lair. That's the first thing we do. At the camp, we're going to use a yellow, red, or blue to move the, bo the boat. Now you can see, like, like right here, I'm on this black spot. So I'd really like to get a blue first because that's about as far as I can move. If I get one of these, I can only move to there, there. But if I got a blue, I'd move straight to there. Let's say I had another yellow, I'd move straight to there. You see, we got to get around here as quickly as we can. Once we get there, if we're in the creature space, we may use a yellow, plus a red, plus a blue to defeat him. And that is how we defeat the creature. So we're going to have to uh, try and make as much time on that as we can. I'm going to quickly talk about the hero phase. So one of the first things you can do is move. These are the actions you have during your phase. As you saw, the explorer had three actions. The professor had four. It says move to an adjacent space, taking any number of villagers with you. Guide one villager to or from an adjacent space. Pick up any number of items in your space. So a pickup action, you can pick up two or three items if they're there. Share items between heroes. That's as many as you want. Advance a task by using an item in the specific location. Defeat uh, a monster by using uh, items in the monster space. Special action, as noted, by your hero badge. Okay, so that's the, the deal. Now, the only place we can activate that boat for the, uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon is in the camp. There's actually an overlay tile on the camp space that looks like this. And it says, uh, you know, you can solve it by doing this thing and move the boat. And that's the only way you can do it. So you can't be anywhere and decide to move the boat. You have to get back to the camp. So there's going to be a lot of movement. It says any player may play any number of perk cards. We'll talk about perk cards last. And then we go to the monster phase. Items, we're going we're gonna to draw a card. And that card is going to determine how many items we get, if there's an event, and who, what monsters attack. And there's the symbols that go along with that. We'll see how that plays out. But one thing we have to do right now, I wanted to save for the beginning of the game was these are perk cards. We're going to draw one for each of our players. That'll be for our, our and they're going to give us special actions that we can accomplish during the turn. And if we ever escort uh, a villager to a space where they want to get, then we get a perk card. So we'll do one more cut. Let's do that. And what do we get? Break of Dawn. Skip the next monster phase, draw and place two items from the bag. Play during any hero's face. That's pretty good. So that goes to the explorer, and the professor gets mob justice. Choose one. Place either Frankenstein or the bride in any space, or move any monster three spaces. Play during any hero face. So we can get the monster out of our face, for example, with those. And now those are you got to be judicious with those. You don't get a ton of them during the game, but they are very valuable. So, guys, I think that's it. I think we're ready to get going. Let's do it. Okay, now we can. Choose to go. We're just going to go with the explorer, then the professor, explorer, professor, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to get started. Now the explorer, you can see she's way up here. And before we get started, I'm going to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe the channel. It's very helpful to me and for the future of this uh, this channel for you. And hopefully you're enjoying it. The next thing I'll say before we get right before we get started is make sure to check out Cat Weasel's channel. He is playing A Touch of Evil, which is why I'm not playing it, because he's doing a great job. And I normally do play something like that or Darkest Night for Halloween. I haven't decided to kick one of those two out yet we're going to do this first so and then of uh, um Bert, meet me at the table is doing both nemesis and um kingdom death monster so check those out all right let's get going we're going to take the first of our cool actions yeah we are with the uh explorer now what we got to do is get stuff and things and that's what's most important right now and red things and stuff are really important so um well, that's not true. We can also use blue and all kinds of things. Now, remember, the explorer's um, special action is place your hero on any non-water space. So I think what we're going to do, and I'm assuming this is why she only has three, she's going to use her special action to move to any non-water space. She's going to pop over to the tower. We're going to grab these two blue items. Now, why did I do that? Because you, I remember if I showed you on the creature from the Black Lagoon, these are going to be very helpful to us. Now, also, when we get hit by a monster, we can sacrifice one of these to not get knocked out and go to the hospital. So we're just going to put these items her on this side. I'm going to put all the professor stuff on this side. That will give us plenty of room. And we got two blue items. That was her first and second action. First action was to move there. Second action was to pick up the items. And her third action is going to be to move here. 
and that's going to be the end of our turn. Now what happens at the end of every player's turn? Well, we're going to draw one of those monster cards. That's why that's how they balance out. So the more players you have, the more monster cards you're drawing, the more activations the monsters get. It's pretty easy and straightforward mechanic. Let's do that. Here is our monster deck. I did shuffle the heck out of it, but I'm going to give it another quick shuffle. Once we shuffle it this time, though, that's going to be it. You just got to draw off the top. So there we go. Did that. And we're going to draw off the top and see what we get. Uh, three items are going to come out of the bag, and we'll show you what that looks like. So here's the bag. We're going to draw three items out and see where they go. I'm going to mix them all up as much as I can. And so the first one's going to go to the inn, which I will place out at the top of the board. Uh, I'll show you where that is this time just to show you how this works. Well, going forward, though, because it's just going to be too time-consuming. But there's two items at the end. Then we're going to have a th another item come out. Let's see what we get. I'm getting too many at a time. I'm going to just grab one. Okay. One. Another blue one at the Institute. The Institute is, uh, I think, way down in the corner. I don't even know if you can see it. And we got one more. Let's draw something out. A red one um, at the mansion. And the mansion is here. So there's two uh, fire pokers at the mansion. We should go grab those. So if you can see, it says, on the move, move the frenzy marker to the next monster. Okay, so that means that, that Dracula is no longer frenzied. It is now the creature from the Black Lagoon, and let's see what he's going to do. Move each villager one space toward their safe location. Well, the sad news is we don't have any villagers. Sorry, there's a, somebody at the door. You know, we're professionals around here in this studio, right? <laughs> okay, next, so that's going to end that. And then you see that flame marker, if you look on here. Tells you the flame marker is the frenzied monster. So that's the creature of the Black Lagoon. He is going to move three, and if he gets to a player, he's going to attack two. He might. He might make it. Man, I really wish this had been uh, the uh, Dracula. Because the creature is going to move. He's going to go one, two, and three and assault our explorer right off the bat at the theater. Dastardly little beast. Let's see what happens there. Now, uh, again, on the card, it said there's, he's going to roll two dice. So... We're going to take two of these dice. Hopefully, he only hits once or not at all. That'd be awesome. Oh, not at all. So the creature, the explorer ducked the creature, missed. We're all good there. That is the end of that. And that is the end of this first card. So we're going to discard that and move on to the professor's turn. Professor Van Helsing, obviously, is down here at the hospital. He's got four actions. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. And that's going to be his entire turn. He picked those two up. Hopefully Dracula doesn't get to him too quickly. But what we're going to do is try and get down here, smash this one, because we got a six. We only need to use this one to do it. And then we're going to pick up this two, and we'll be able to smash two of his coffins. So Dracula is going to be on us like glue, you know that. Um, now, I could have also spent an action to, to uh, move him or a villager, but we didn't need to do that because there isn't one out yet. And I'm okay with the explorer. I think she's safe for the moment, even though the creature is frenzied. So being that that's the end of his turn, he took his four actions, we're going to draw his card. We're going to get two items out from the bag. Now one of the good things is these items keep coming, right? So two items, this one's going to, going to go to the camp. That's good, because we can use that at the camp, which is nice. And then this one is going to go toward the theater. It's a, a, a rapier at the theater. Makes some sense, right? Thematic, and that is with the explorer. So that's going to be great, because she can pick that up. Now, it says the hunt is on. If no play, player... If no hero has the hunted emblem, give it to them, to the current player, and move the wolfman. Since the wolfman is not in play, that doesn't happen. So then we look here. Well, this is a bummer because uh, the the all three of our, our all both of our creatures are going to go, and the creature from the black lagoon is going to go twice. So let's take a look at that. Well, you know, typical of my luck, right? Uh, the creature of the black lagoon is going to go first in that card. He is not going to move. He's going to roll two dice and attack the explorer. Uh, he did not get anything but his special ability. What does that do? Rock the boat. Move the boat back, backwards one spot. Well, here's some good news. We haven't moved it. So that was ineffective. That didn't do anything. Over here, and per our card, see there, we got Dracula, who's going to move one. He didn't encounter anybody, so we don't have to roll any attack dice for him. But the Frenzy Monster goes last, so that means that the creature from the Black Lagoon is going to go again. We're getting accosted. Good news, bad news. Can take both our items, but he can't knock us out. Well, we didn't have to sacrifice an item, so this one is going to go into the discard. Now, we don't refill the bag until such time as all of the uh, tokens are empty. So we used a kite. I don't know how we used a kite, but we used a kite to fend off the attack of the creature from the Black Lagoon. Maybe because he's not very intelligent. Maybe he got distracted by the kite flying by. The, the 
explorer distracted him and he chased off after the kite. Let's say that because that sounds really stupid, but that's the way it is. All right, let's uh, move on then to the. Um, that's going to discard this card and that's going to move us on to the uh, explorer's turn again. We're probably going to do like two more turns and I'll call this an episode, maybe three, we'll see. Okay, explorer. Well, we know what we're going to do for our first of three actions. We're going to pick up these two red uh, tokens for her. That's pretty good. Then we are going to take our second action to use her special action. Place your hero on any non-water space. We're going back to the camp. That's right. And then we are going to move the boat. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to spend a blue one to move this to here. That's going to get discarded. So we used a, um, a nebularium from the tower to move the, to move the boat up to here. So the boat is on the move. We're tracking, we're tracking the creature. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so that uh, is the end of her actions. That was all three of her actions. She still has two red items. She's pretty darn close to the creature, so hopefully we, he doesn't go again and just keep chasing us around. But you know what we could do? Let's do this. We're going to play her Break of Dawn card, because I don't want to, I, I want her to keep her items. Her items are getting, it, we have a lot of opportunity with those items. We're right near the cave. We could go crush one of uh, Dracula's coffins with ease. So I think we're going to use this, and she's going to play it to skip the monster's turn, and we're going to get two additional items out of the bag. Let's see what we get. Uh, we get another kite in the tower. So I will figure out where the heck the tower is and place that. Um, you do need to kind of refresh yourself or get used to where all the items and stuff are, or the buildings and stuff are right away. It doesn't take that long. Figure it out. And then this goes to the Institute. So we got some really good items down at the Institute. And that means we don't have to worry about the monster phase this turn. We're going to skip it. She does lose this card. That's kind of sad. We're going to go straight to the Professor. Well, here's the good news. Mr. Professor. He is going to go one, two, three. And for his last action, he's going to destroy the coffin with this uh, silver cane. So he destroys the coffin there. Boom! As the coffin at the graveyard. Which means we have smashed one of Dracula's coffins already. We only need three more to go. Dracula, we're coming after you. That is cool. And that's going to be all four of his turns, right? One, two, three, four. And he smashed the coffin. So he can't pick up the, the shovel at the graveyard yet. But he's going to because then he can just move over to try and get another one of Dracula's coffins. Fortunately for the professor, he does not have a card, get out of jail free card to stop the monster turn like the explorer did. So we're just going to draw a card and see what we get. Oh, zero items come out. Well, that's okay because we put two out from our card. Reincarnated soul. So this is for the mummy. We're not. We're just going to skip that. I'm not going to ruin the mummy stuff for you. But we've got the werewolf, Dracula, and the invisible man. So we only have Dracula moving this turn. He's going to move one towards the closest hero, and he will attack. But he's, there's not going to be an attack for him. He's simply going to move to the mansion, and he hisses at these two fire pokers because they're six points, and that's enough to destroy one of his coffins, <laughs> so he doesn't like that at all. But he has kind of blocked the professor from moving through there, unless the professor wants to give up items, so he'll probably tear off in the other direction. We'll see. But that is the end of this card. It is discarded. So the Dracula moved, but he didn't do anything. Let's go back to the Explorer. He's got a real simple turn. She's going to pick this up for what? That's a, that's her first action. For her second action, she's going to play this for one. Which means the boat has moved further. Because remember, she's still at the camp. That's pretty cool. Now, I could play a red one, but it's just going to move us one. I'm not too thrilled about that. So, for her third action, she is going to move one more over to the cave. Because she has items to destroy the coffins with. Now, this is kind of a waste. It's ten points. But uh, we only need four coffins to go after him. So... We're going to make a quick work of Dracula. Now remember, this is an easy ver This is the easiest version of the game. This is the one they say to use for your um, scenario. Um, so that's that's okay. Now we haven't moved our terror track at all yet either, which is really cool. Um, we're actually doing quite well. I've seen some other games where it doesn't go quite so well. Uh, but um, yeah, and then so normally also you would play like uh, I think a, a novice game is two monsters. Normally you play with three, or if you want to play really tough, you can play with four. It gets really gruesome at that point. you got a lot going on. You better have a good group of players. But we're playing kind of easy mode, learning mode, so that's where we're at. That leaves us with a new card to draw. Let's see. We, ooh, Sunrise. No items again. Wow. Place Dracula at the Crypt. I'll, I'll take that. 
So we are going to Dracula back to the crypt because the sun came up. And then we're also going to move the frenzied monster one space. Now let's take a look. I think he's still going to go after the explorer. Yeah, I mean, look, it's one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four. So he's going to move right to there. He's in that little fountain area there. He's moving toward her. And if you look at that, that's all that happens. He's not going to attack because he's not there. So we're good. And that is going to be the end of the explorer's phase. Now we go back to um, the, the uh, professor. Professor's first action to pick that up. His second action is going to be to go one, that's two, three, four. And he'll go right there. He's heading toward the dungeon. He has enough points right now. He'll have to pick some, hopefully he'll pick some stuff up along the way. The last two cards put no more tokens on the board. That's not good for us. Um, so that is actually the end of his turn. He picked up an item and he moved three spaces. So we're going to go back and draw a new card. All right, I think you see how the game progresses. But let's take a look. Oh my gosh, another zero. You saw me shuffle. He's retreat. Place the creature on the lagoon. All right, well, we're going to do that. We'll follow in order. You see that we're going to move the frenzy monster one. Oh man, he's just hunting her down. This is a particularly nasty one because look, he's going to go here. Right after the Explorer, see that waterway, he can use those. So he's going to go there. He's going to roll three dice. Man, I think she's about to lose the items that she was going to use to crush the coffin with and have to flee. But that's the name of the game, right? Let's see what he does there. Two hits. So yes, he she is going to have to lose both of these fives. That sucks to avoid the hits. But she does. And that is going to be the end of this uh, round. I'm going to shuffle these up just a little more because that, that was... Horrible. Three rounds in a row, we get no new items, and the creatures have really done some devastation. Okay. Anyway, let's move on from there. We're going to go now to uh, whose turn? It is the explorer's turn. She was going to going to destroy the coffin, but she can't. So she is going to use her special action to move here. That's one, two. She picked up both of these uh, for herself. She will use her special action again to move to here. Way the heck up at the end. Uh, it doesn't say, I gotta check. I think you can use your special action as many times as in turn as you want. I'm gonna double check. If I can't, then I'm gonna have to move her one. I mean, she's still in a bad area for the boss monster. Uh, special actions indicate on the back. Just like any other action, special actions count as one of the total actions for your turn and can be taken multiple times. So we're good there. Okay, we took that. That's what we did. We bounced around, got up there quickly. We're going to do the professor's turn, and then we're going to call this video done for tonight. Okay, professor, let's see what we get here. <clears throat> okay, good. we got some items coming out. This says, worried fiancé. Hmm, we're going to actually have finally have one of the other people come out. So first we're going to place down three tokens. So this one's going to go at the end. That is fantastic because the explorer is there. That gave her another item to pick up. The next one's going to go in the, uh, the barn, which is right next to her there. And the next one's going to go in the barn again, a rifle. Nice. That's a big one with a six. So we got three red items at the barn. That's going to be one of her next stops for sure. She can definitely get to the, uh, uh, blow up one of Dracula's coffins. Now, we're also going to do this. Place Elizabeth at the mansion. Let me find Elizabeth. Uh, here she is. Going to get a little standy out for her. And we're going to place her at the mansion. Now, she is trying to get to, if you can see on here, it says this the tower. So Elizabeth is trying to get to the tower safely. She's at the mansion. She's really close to Dracula and not far from the uh, um, the creature from the Black Lagoon. As you can see as we place her here at the mansion. Now we can go escort her, but we don't want her to die because that's how our terror track goes up. Anyway, now let's look at this. So we're gonna the frenzy monster is gonna move one. That's not so bad. She he's going to move to the closest target. So if he moves here, this is one, two, or, or one, two. Either way, it's going to move one. So one here or one there. I don't think it matters. I think he'll just move back to the camp. He's actually in the camp right now. And that is going to be it. He doesn't get to attack anybody. That's going to be the end of that card. And that's going to be the end of our playthrough for this evening. So this is Horrified. And while I do believe this is a, a good Halloween game, it has to do with monsters. Now, it's not really scary, which is great. It's a family game for sure. It's cooperative. That makes it fun. And there's really nothing gruesome or weird about it. So it's pretty slick. And it plays fast and smooth. It reminds me a little bit of like a pandemic style game, but with some more unique rules associated with it. So we will probably be able to finish this up in a second video. We'll see how that goes. Remember, we can only go through that deck once. If we do, we lose. So we got to get get the things cooking. 
uh, head back to the camp. Of course, the creature's there right now. And we'll be going with the Explorer next. So uh, we'll get her done, and I think she's going to pick up all those items, probably go smash a coffin. I think uh, now that um, the Professor is only is pretty close to the... Um, to the to the villager, I think he's going to use a special ability, two of his actions to move her to him, and then he'll continue on toward the tower to get her there safely. That would be really really good. So, anyway, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I, I, he has a card that allows him to move monsters, but they're so close to their starting points, I don't see where that's going to help us. Uh, they're on both on their area of the board. So, guys, that is hor the first episode of Horrified. Hope you enjoy that. Let me know what you think of the game. And also, please, again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And we're going to see you in the next episode. Take care.